Last week, Olympic superstar Tom Daly inspired a spectacular 10-meter dive from Perry, flying him into the next round. Sick. It was sick. <laughs> oh, my God. And in the splash-off, Michaela beat a very brave Gemma Collin. Just cruised all over. Tonight, five more celebrities have been pushing themselves to the limit. Getting a bit nervous now. I want to go through. It's going to be a massive battle between me and the water. Just get over it. To try and dive their way into the semi-final. Maximum points. You've got one chance to nail it. And it could all go horribly wrong. star Keith Duffy children's TV presenter Anna Williamson radio and TV presenter Paul Ross rugby hero Martin Fire and finally singer Toya Wilcox Welcome your hosts, Vernon Kay and Gabby Logan. Strap on your water wings because this is a pool party like no other. We're just missing one of the country's most prized possessions to make sure it all goes swimmingly. He's an Olympian. He's a champion. He's our very own hunk in trunks. It's Tom Daly! The boy wonder himself, everyone. Tom Daly, come on. <laughs> yes. Now, Tom, Perry and Michaela are already through. They've set the standard. What can we expect tonight? Yeah, Perry and Michaela were great last week doing some really complex dives, but this week the celebrities are, again, doing some amazing dives, really difficult. They just have to keep their nerves together. I know you're emotionally so tied into these divers. What's it like for you being with them as opposed to competing at the highest levels? Well, actually, I get more nervous watching them diving uh, than I do when I'm diving myself because I have control about what I'm doing, whereas I have no control of what they're doing <laughs> at all. So as long as they can keep their heads together, then they'll be great. I know they will. They will. They will. Listen, you've got to get some clothes on. Yeah, I know, I do. <laughs> Fortunately. <laughs> I'll be off now. <laughs> really disappointed when he puts clothes on. No, he doesn't no. walk down the high streets in his trunks. Right, so it's heat two. And once again, a band of brave celebrities are willing to pit themselves against gravity and H2. Oh, my goodness me, look how high it is! 
Diamonds! <laughs> Our newbie Diamonds have been training with Tom for the last few weeks, and tonight they're about to be brought down to Earth, possibly from up there. Now, the top of that tower is 10 metres high, and that's the equivalent of around five Vernons or one Peter Crouch. Tonight, <laughs> tonight, they all want to get their hands on one of the two places on offer in our semi-finals, where they'll join Diversity's Perry Keeley and wildlife presenter Michaela Strachan. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they were brilliant last week, but this is how it works. They each dive, then they get scored by our judges. Yep, then it's over to you to vote for your favourite when the phone lines open a little later on in the show. We then combine your votes with the judges' scores and the celebrity with the most points automatically goes through to the semi-finals. The divers that come in second and third position will take to the boards once again for the splash-off, where our illustrious judges will decide who's going to go through. The rest get a lift home in Tom's minibus. So, they have to impress you. They have to face their fears and they've got to take on these three. That entry, it was sick. I'm a bit of an animal, you know. I'm a little disappointed. Oh! Here are the judges. And the first up, last week's celebrities set the standard. They've set the bar that the others have got to achieve. What have he two got to do to impress you? Gabby, I'm looking for three things. First of all, difficulty. So, for example, a push dive is going to be more difficult than just a falling off dive. It's the heights that they come from, because it's more difficult to control what you do in the flight on the way down to the water. Now, Perry last week did a brilliant job of controlling that movement in the air and into the water to a vertical entry. And, of course, there's the execution. It's no good going up on the top board, doing a difficult dive from a high up place and crash landing the entry. So if you get a mix of those three right, you should be high up on the leaderboard. Big smile on Andy's face. <laughs> yes. John, last week was a real emotional roller coaster. We had a few tears. Very emotional show mm. last week. What can our celebrities do tonight to calm their nerves? Well, I think they've got to breathe deeply. They've got to concentrate as much as they possibly can. Shut out all the noise around them. Listen to the voice in their head that's hopefully telling them they're brilliant. If it's telling them they're rubbish, have a word with me. I've got some cab numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, you were quite harsh on some of the celebrities last week. A bit of a meanie. Yeah, you were. A bit of a meanie. Well, I was actually in a good mood last week, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm for this week. I mean, look, it's, it's a tough sport. Um, we've seen time and time again the injuries they're sustaining, they're having to get back up smack after smack. You know, it is tough out there. I know exactly what they're going through, but they're here. They've got to compete for a spot in the semi-final and they've got to keep raising their game. Series one was high standard. Series two, it's got to go up. All right, let's hear it for our judges, everyone. I'm only joking. Oh, imagine. Are we ready for some diving? <laughs> Are we? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Well, now, kicking off our second heat is a pop star who's praying that his entry doesn't, uh, of course, damage his boy zone. It's boy zone's Keith Duffy! <laughs> How you doing? I'm Keith Duffy. You might know me from a little band from Ireland called Boy Zone. Yep, good to go whenever you are ready. I am very competitive. Yeah. I'd like to do very well in the competition. That was great. That was, that was really good. I have to make my kids proud. I've done all the dives off all the levels. You're like Buzz Lightyear. You weren't flying, but you were falling with attitude. Bonker. I got through the first two days still alive, and I've got over the high thing, but not much of an acrobat. Oh. For some reason, I hit a bit of a wall. Yeah. Keith started off so well, but bravery can only get you so far in diving. You just need to work again the legs a little bit. And recently, he's been really struggling with his technique. It's it's going terrible. This diving, I thought it was easy. It's a lot harder than it looks. You get the top half right and the bottom half lets you down. They have to enter the water correctly. That's what I should have learned how to do by now. 
I'm going to bed at night and I'm thinking about my line-up dive and how to do the spring off the somersault and da, 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 my head's going crazy. I can't even have a pint of Guinness because I have diving the next day. He is fearless. He's taking a lot of hits. But if he doesn't get his technique sorted, he's just not going to go through. All this training can be done in vain if that one second is not perfect. It's a competition. You've got one chance to nail it. I want to go through. I'm competitive, I'm a man. That is a man, ladies and gentlemen. Keith Duffy. One of seven and a half weeks ago, Keith. In training, you've been from the 10, what's going on? Well, to be honest with you, Vern, I wanted to put a bit of technicality into my dive. <laughs> and going off to 10 straight wasn't good enough, so I had to come down here and get the technicality right. And when I'm back in the semi-finals, <laughs> you'll see some sparks coming off the 10 metre ball. Right. I like it. Diver number one, fighting talk already. So Keith is going to be at attempting an inward dive tuck from the seven and a half metre board. Now, I'll be honest with you, Keith, once again, like last week, I'd do it myself to show the viewers how it's done, but unfortunately, chlorine plays havoc with me eczema. It really does. So here's Tom Daly to demonstrate. Jump up and backwards away from the board. Form the perfect tuck, pulling the body into a tight ball and rotating forwards. Extra body control is needed from the higher board to straighten out vertical for the perfect entry. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Keith Tucky sometimes forgets about the entry, but this time he's just about got it right. Legs a little bit apart, but will the former Coronation Street star be making a Rover's return in the semi-final? You have got us off to a fantastic start. Will you Thanks. please? I don't know. I think my legs might have been a bit asunder, but uh, I'll try and keep them together if you give me another chance. You're tough on yourself, aren't you? Shall we see if they love you for a reason? Oh, let's and do that. And let that reason... Yes. Yeah, no matter what. Huh? Oh. No matter what they tell you, don't take it to heart. <laughs> Andy, you first up. Keith, watching that training video, I would have thought there was absolutely no way you were going to go up onto seven metres, let alone do an inward dive. Now, your um, ability has grown significantly since we first saw you. Great job. You said you wanted to make your kids proud. Job done in my book. Thank you very much. Um, what did you make of Keith's dive? Keith, you looked amazing up on that board. I was quite sad when you went in the water, actually. <laughs> but I knew you had to, so that was all right. You talk to my face, not my shorts, please. <laughs> Keith, I've missed my appointment at the opticians. I thought that was a bit of lawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four-leaf clover, darling. <laughs> but absolutely fantastic. You kept calm, you focused, and in you went. It was brilliant. Thank you, thank you. Leon, are you? Well, surprisingly, Gabby, I'm actually quite impressed. Um, <laughs> so, that was a proper dive. You could have chosen an easier dive, but an inward dive, you're on the 7.5 metre, and you didn't just dribble off like a, a tea towel or something. You launched yourself into the dive. You really attacked the out on the dive. You did lose your legs as you went into the water, and it can go high. I'm looking forward to seeing those sparks fly if you go through. Good dive. Thank okay. you very much. Good comments. Good start. Yeah, very positive. Out of ten, please. Arguably, it was just that little bit scruffy, but a great opening dive to the show. Eight from me. <laughs> Thank you. Really, really attacked it. 8.5. Oh. 
There's definitely more. It's an eight from me. Wow. Thank you. Absolutely. Very good. 25 out of 30. Uh, there we have it. The judges have delivered their verdict. But what did you think was the boy in the zone? If you think he was, then vote for him using the numbers displayed on your screen when the lines open later in the show after everyone has dived. But now, though, Keith Duffy, everyone. Thank you. Now, Tom, yes. as one of your students, being fearless, it must be awesome to have in your camp because he's, he's just a fearless competitor, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. And you Come can on, tell Keith. he's used to performing yeah, in front of crowds because yeah. that's the best you've done it. And you can tell the adrenaline was pumping too because you were so quick and sharp on that come out. So, good oh, job. Good, good. good Thank job. you. Good, good lad. Thank please you. with your dive? Oh, yeah, so far so good. I want to see you back and then I'll tell you the answer <laughs> to that question. So critical of yourself, Keith. That's a good oh, thing. Well, you have to be. You know? Do you think you've done enough to get into the semi-finals? I think I've done enough to impress me kids. Oh, that's yeah, all that yeah. matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. And of course, getting into the semi-final. Let's not forget that. Right, coming <laughs> back to you. Thank you. Okay, the pool's open and ready for business. Still to come, our celebrities discover that diving is a very hard lesson to learn. You can't even fathom how much it hurts. Come on! I thought my body's been hit by sacks full of rocks. I have a real genuine fear.
second live heat of Splash, the show that bans running, bombing and heavy petting, but diving is definitely allowed. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this all week, Gavin. I know, it's so exciting to get another batch of divers in, isn't it? No, no, someone locked me in the changing room. It's been there all week, been a nightmare. Sorry about that, I'll check next time. So, we've just seen Keith Dovey setting the standard, and next up is a children's TV presenter, which explains why a costume is made from sticky back plastic and crepe paper. It's Anna Williamson! <laughs> Williamson. I'm 32 years old and I'm best known for presenting children's and daytime TV. <laughs> Diving, I can just about get off the side of a pool in a belly flop fashion. Suck your arms out. One, two, three. So you just got to make sure you kind of stay a bit more upright. Don't rock the board so much. I think I was just showing off. <laughs> Anna is super competitive and has been pushing herself really hard in every single training session. They had to stick me in a heap of people that could dive, didn't they? He is fierce. Toya loves it. And Paul is just suddenly like the Darcy bustle of diving. I've got some tough competition. I'm not going to get left behind. Anna is so competitive, she was bound to be in first one of that seven and a half feet. Do it. Go. Anna, are you OK? Are you OK? Having just done that, I'm not going to lie. Really Anna's got to be really careful not to push herself too hard because she could get seriously injured. You can't even fathom how much it hurts until you're doing it. Yeah, it feels like someone's like taken a sort of metal tray and smashed it around the back of my thigh. No pain, no gain, I guess. Oh, Keith's on 7.5. Oh, damn it! I want to throw myself off that 10 metre board. I just worry that Anna is trying to keep up with Keith instead of actually concentrating on her own technique. On Saturday night, I haven't got a chance to back out. I've got to do it. I love a competitive woman. You want the very best from yourself, and that's why we're here on the 10 metre board. Oh, gosh, don't. Yes, I know. Um, I'm competitive, but within myself. Um, honestly, not so much within the competition. I just want to push myself, and I'll be honest, I'm petrified of heights, water, air vents, you name it. <laughs> so I just think, do you know what? I get one chance. Let's go for it. You're 10 metre or nothing. In the zone, Anna. <laughs> going to be performing the T-start forward pipe fall from the 10 metre. Obviously, we know exactly Well, what you know is. what I mean. But for those that don't, should we let Tom show us? Go on, oh, go on. Yeah. Form the perfect pipe position with straight legs. Hold the arms in a T position away from the body as you fall from the board. Bringing the hands above the head, control the fall to straighten through to the crucial entry point. technique right otherwise it hurts just ask Anna little bit of over rotation but Anna's a great presenter but how has she presented that dive here on Splash let's see what the judges think oh. Anna you're smiling you must be happy with yourself oh do you know what Leon, 10 metre board, you like that? I do like that, very impressive. That's not for the faint-hearted all the way up there. 
Thanks. You've taken this competition by storm. I see that determination in your eyes. No messing around, straight off the 10 metre. It is a simple dive. Yeah. But it's on the 10 metre. I'm curious as to what else you've got in your locker, so to speak. What yeah. else you've got in store for us yeah. if you make it through. The entry just a little bit over with your bum sticking out. Yeah, so I've got a big bum. What more no, do you well, want? Still. <laughs> no, I know. There is more in there. Good I just wanted to ten. get off that board because if I don't get through, um, then at least I can always say I went on splash and I went off the top board. Got so. yeah. Andy, what do you think? We talked earlier about control and height, and you had both. You're on the top Thank board, you. it doesn't get higher than that. Your control through the air was actually really good. Yes, you did roll fractionally early, yeah. but I didn't matter for me, actually. I still oh. thought it was extremely well controlled off the board. You. you know what? You're an inspiration to girls out there. Oh. Girl power rules. Oh, thank you. Well, um, I thought the degree of competitiveness you displayed was rather unattractive in a woman. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it was absolutely brilliant. You did it. Hooray and Yay. hurrah. Well done. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, Thank well you. done, Anna. Good comments. Good comments Thanks. all round. Let's see how those comments translate into scores oh, yeah. out of ten. Andy? It was an easier dive, but it was on the top board, so I'm going to go with an eight again. Oh, thanks. Joe? Thank it was the top board. I'm going to go with 8.5. Thanks, Joe. Leon? Yeah, 7.5 for me. Fair enough. Thanks, Leon. All right, that's 24 out of 30. So, there you have it. If you thought Anna made the dive look like child's play, then vote for her using the number shown on your screen, but not yet. Lines open later in the show after everyone has dived. Let's hear it for Anna Williamson, everyone. Well done. <laughs> to go off the 10 metre board this series, Tom. Having somebody as fearless as that must be brilliant for you. Exactly. Anna's been great. She's wanted to work hard in every single training session, learn so many new things, and she's got so much potential to go far as... Oh, that's little bum there. Why not? Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, do you know what? I, I am. I know it's an easier dive, but that's why I put the tea start in just from a normal lineup, just to try and make it look a little bit more jazzy. But do you know what? I'm a panic attack sufferer and I got off the 10 metre board. I don't care. I'm well happy with that. Yeah, Anna's good. Well done. All right, our third dive has been on telly so long his audition today was a silent movie. From this morning, it's the better looking of the Ross brothers. Give it up for Paul Ross! <laughs> I'm Paul Ross, a broadcaster, journalist, and I'm 56. I know I look much older, I've had a hard life. We've got Paul Ross. We had one of those yeah. each. Yeah. Blimey, that was a happy few afternoons. Yeah. I was very good as a kid at the belly flop. I can still do a great bomb. But I'm a kind of enthusiastic amateur. The hippopotamus has landed. <laughs> I wouldn't describe myself as fearless. I think I'm fairly stupid and cocky and a show-off. Aiming towards that second line. Yeah. Look at it and stretch towards it as hard as you can. Oh, you went in with no splash. Maximum points. Paul is definitely the class clown. He's always trying to make the others laugh. <laughs> really, he's actually quite competitive. What we're going to do now is work on playing swan dive. But you kind of have to really express the position and like feel like you're flying for a little bit. Feel like a ballerina. Nice and neat. I'm getting funny looks at work, though, because I'm going around work like this whole time. That's one of the kind of unfortunate downsides of doing splash. Hoopla! In the position. Hoopla! Hoop! Paul's technique isn't that bad, so now we just have to work on his dives. If the back flop is marked high, I'm going to win this competition. I am drained. I never realised that jumping into water and climbing out could be so tiring. I feel like my body's been hit by a sack full of rocks repeatedly. I am middle-aged, chunky and unfit, but I will have a go. Obviously, everyone's had a lot of fun with you around, Paul. And today, tonight, wearing something perhaps to put off the opposition? Is well, that thought, what it's all about? I might, I might dazzle the judges and they'd look away from the diving. But although we've had great fun at the boot camp, great fun with Tom, I have, I hope, really worked at it. Because I've got people watching, I've got my children, my grandchildren watching. Hello, Reuben and Raffi. They're willing me on. Everyone here is willing you on. Best of luck. God bless. OK, well, Paul's going to be performing the forward dive with Tuck from up here on the five-metre board. Let's see how it should be done. Take it away, Tom. 
from a strong takeoff, tuck in tight with pointed toes and knees together. Kick out into a straight line, hitting the water vertically for a splash free entry. live I'd have to say those shorter quite frightening live too quick tuck not really pulling those knees into the chest very short of a vertical on the entry the old under rotation in force he's always on the lookout for a scoop though so let's see what showbiz exclusive Paul has discovered at the bottom of the splash pool <laughs> Paul big sigh of relief oh. as your head popped out of the water how are you feeling I was sweating up there like Joey Essex on Mastermind. It was terrifying. <laughs> Let's find out what our judges thought. All right, good luck. Here we go, Joe. Well, Paul, I've phoned the Coast Guard owing to an outbreak of budgie smuggling. That's so <laughs> serious. Uh, we need to look into that. You were funny. You went for it. What's all this unfit middle-aged? You're gorgeous. There you go. You got my well done. Thank you, Leon. Well, you need a sense of humour, don't you? Because that water really does hurt, doesn't it? I saw your training, smack after it smack. It is like being punched repeatedly yeah. in the face. Yeah. Or, you know, but it's great fun as well. It's not pleasant, but do you know what? You've gone smack after smack, and you could have chosen a much easier dive, but you've gone for a forward dive with tuck. You've attacked it. Yes, you were short of vertical when you went in, but you've given it your all. I just wish I'd had the courage. I wanted to go off seven and a half. Well, that's perfect for the seven and a half metres. Final. Up you go. The Semi only final. way is up. Only exactly. Way. Andy. I love the way you psyched yourself up. You got on that board and you gave it 100%, and that's really what we need to see when it comes to this sort of diving. Your takeoff was very strong. The shape was really good. The kick was really strong, just a little bit shorter vertical. I didn't know I if I held it, was it a good enough. Was that too quick you want to hold in that little bit longer, because if you come out too early, you don't quite get enough rotation to get round to vertical. All right. Almost, but you can go higher off that. Cool, thank you, Andy. Let's see what the scores are out of 10, of course. Andy? I thought it was a good effort, but off the five metre, so it's a seven. John? Um, for effort, comedy and swimming trunks, it's an eight from me. Oh, a big score! A big score from the ground. Leon? Uh, six and a half for bravery. Ooh! 21.5 out of 30. That's what the judges thought. But what do you think? Did Paul's dive make your heart skip a beat? If you want to see him progress, you need to vote for him using the numbers on your screen, but only when the line's open after everyone has dived. Let's hear it. High five, Paul Ross, everyone! Come on! I know, Tom, that you think, actually, underneath it all, there is someone there in Paul who can dive, and he's got some technique, hasn't it? Surprised you? Yeah, his technique's quite old school, and as you can see, everyone's beating themselves up about the performance this <laughs> that was That was great. God bless you. Welcome Thanks to all your help. With all that. Yeah. But, I mean, you've worked so hard at it, so you should be proud of yourself. And what the first two fantastic, Keith and Anna. Well, you oh, were fantastic. Amazing. And you know you what, were good too. Don't Ruby and Rafi are going to be out there enjoying <laughs> that tonight. Yes, yeah, definitely. Well done. All right, so far, three celebrities have unleashed their inner dolphin and glided majestically into the pool. Still to come, Toya Wilcox and Martin Afire try to come to terms with their very own water torture. Well, I've done something a bit weird. I'm feeling nervous. What I'm trying to do is trying to psych myself up. It'll be a massive battle. I might freeze.
that's the shore that reaches for the stars. What stops at that 10 metre board? Three celebrities have already taken the plunge and are sharing a hot chocolate while they wait for the showers to get hot again. <laughs> Should we have a look at the leaderboard? Let's do that, Gabrielle. <laughs> Keith is in the top spot with 24.5 points. Followed by Anna with 24 points. And Paul is currently at the bottom in those trunks at 21 points. Points. Well, our fourth celebrity is no stranger to diving. It's just he normally does it with a ball in his hand. Let's hope that doesn't happen tonight. It's rugby legend Martin Afire. I'm Martin Fire, and I'm an ex-professional rugby player. And Shield is going to go the full night. That is what sensational time! We're going to start you off with just literally jumping in. No gap between your ears and your arms. I've got a couple of dodgy shoulders, so... Oh, uh, OK. He's a sportsman, he's used to training, so he's going to have great core strength, and hopefully that'll give him a head start in diving. You've got to keep your chin up. Yeah, I'm diving. <laughs> Looking at Martin, big burly strapping guy, you'd think he wouldn't have a problem at all. It's like getting a bit nervous now. However, he's petrified of height. This makes me feel sick. I feel sick in my stomach. I have a real genuine fear. My doctor has to prescribe me medication just to get on a plane. Hands up, feet first, you'll be fine. I've had hypnotherapy. They're all delaying tactics there, Martin, were they? I'm trying to die there. That's how long I've been on you. I know sometimes it looks like I'm doing a rugby war dance. But what I'm trying to do is trying to psych myself up. Martin's really battling the demons on the end of the board. He's got the physical strength, he just needs that mental strength. <laughs> I know it's a possibility that I can get up there and I might freeze, but you can't. There is no plan B, so I have to dive. I don't like that. I didn't like that. It's going to be a massive battle on Saturday night between me, the height, and the water, but hopefully I'll be the winner. Hopefully. Martin of Fire. I used to go to six form in Wigan. I used to look up to you, Martin. You're an icon. You're one of my idols. You're a man's man, solid as a rock. Yeah. You're on the five metre board. What's all that about? Hey, uh, I've only done this dive a couple of times off this board. I was going to do the three metre board, but I thought I'm going to give it a go. I don't know what's going to happen, but... You got some strapping on your shoulder, is that all right? Yeah, yeah, my old AC joint, uh, Gary Conley, dropped me on my shoulder about 20 years ago and I'm still carrying it. All right, Martin, I know you're absolutely... <laughs> Can we chat for a little bit longer? Petrified. Oh, I know. <laughs> this has got to be the most terrified I've ever seen a, oh, a yeah. rugby player with everything you achieved in rugby league. So how's the missus, isn't it? <laughs> she's really, she's really good. Yeah, tell her she's probably well seen around the front room oh, right now, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Watching this, of course. Yeah. Listen, Martin, all the very best yes. of luck. Performing the forward pike fall from five metres. Let's have a look at Tom, see how it should be done. Form the perfect pike position at the end of the board with straight legs and locked hands. In the fall, straighten through to the crucial entry point. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Martin Chariots of Fire!
legend to spend his wonderful career diving for a try. And now here on Splash, Martin's trying to dive. Legs are bent, under rotation, and I'm not sure how many points shouting will get him. Will the judges give him the conversion he needs for the extra points or send him to the sin bin? Let's find out. Come on, Martin. That was almost a primitive scream there as you went into the water. Was that worse? Was that worse than getting ready for a Challenge Cup final? I didn't like that. <laughs> really? Really? Didn't you like disguised it. it so well. You look so like at it, home. Shall we hear what the judges thought? Oh, God. Okay, they're over here, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, when I picture rugby player, yeah. I see ah, not. <laughs> and, I can't um, help it. I'm a big girl's blouse. That's why I'm wearing pink. To be I fair, I'd race it, but <laughs> to be fair, you did get up there. We could all see how petrified you were of doing that, and there was a bit of rugby grit in yeah. there. So well done for that. Thanks. You did it. You did it, Leon. Martin was pretty reasonably executed, but just a little bit boring. Really? Oh, well, I was absolutely hooked. I it, wasn't, it certainly wasn't boring for where I was standing. I, I thought it was compelling. <laughs> compelling. Joe. Oh. Martin, I feel for you because you, people have uh, the wrong perception of you. Just because yeah. you're a rugby player, why yeah. can't you be scared of heights? I know. I'm supposedly a fat, jolly person. I'm a miserable oh. psychopath. So get on. <laughs> Well, I, I did prove that brothers do drop dive anyway. Let's, not, not from the 10 metres, let's, let's get the score, shall we? Andy. It was a very easy dive from fairly low, but that grit made me give a six. Thanks. Six. Joe. 6.5 for me. Thank you. And Leon. 5.5 from me. <laughs> Don't go anywhere yet, you. 18.5, 18 out of 30. That's what the judges thought. But did Martin master the dive? No. If you think he did, then get off of your sofa and vote for him using the numbers on your screen when the line's open after everyone has died. Let's hear it from Martin of Fire! Tom, yeah. they're scared of diving, and then there's Martin. I know, I've never known someone that's like so big and everything like that, and then to scream as you leave a diving board, I mean. But Come in, Martin. Good war on you for getting my war cry. I, yeah, I had good. to get myself off there. You have to scare the water. Yes, yeah. I made it. I made it. I didn't freeze. Anyway, you didn't so make I'm it. Happy. Are you feeling now it's over with? I'm feeling pretty good. Good. As long as I'm not in the splash off, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> 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 all right, excellent stuff. Well done, Martin. Thanks very much. Well done Thanks indeed. Gabby. <laughs> Brothers you got might have to do it all again later on. Well done, Martin. Okay, four celebrities have fallen to earth and lived to tell the tale. After the break, our last diver, Toya Wilcox, shows the young ones what she's got. At 55, you start to feel a little bit shaky and a bit more frail. Oh, God, sorry. I came out the water thinking, what have I done?
back. There's just one diver left, and we better get a move on because we've got to freeze this pool for tomorrow night's Dancing on Ice. Yes, that's right. Our final celebrity is an actress and former punk pop star, but can she use her stage diving skills on a real diving board? It's the princess of punk, Toya Wilcox! <laughs> My name is Toya Wilcox. I'm 55 years old. I'm a singer and an actress. A shot in the dark is the I am so excited about having Tom as my mentor. <laughs> and I'm going to be standing there, old enough to be his grandmother, thinking, Whoa. Very nice. Toya is one of the oldest contestants in the group, and she's definitely one of the better ones. Toya is naturally good at diving, but I have to say there are a lot of distractions. I can't wait to see Keith Duffy and Bushy Smugglers. I need a hunt to rescue me. Keith, I can't At 55, you start to feel a little bit shaky and a bit more frail. Oh, God, sorry. I've got to be careful. I've done something a bit weird. I've had a total hip replacement. So I came out of the water thinking, what have I done? Toya, unfortunately, is feeling a little bit of pain in her hip. So we're just getting it checked out now with the physios before we do anything more. Yeah. Do we get Keith to have a look? Keith is very kindly loosening me up. Uh, my dear, I don't feel stiff. I feel quite good. Part of this competition. Yeah. We're having another rub down for 20 minutes with her key. Key? Is key around? Key? I'm feeling good. Video actually gives me confidence. Yeah. That's good, Key. Can't wait to compete on Saturday. Has anyone seen Key? Big bundle of energy here on the five yeah! meter board. But in that tape there about your training sessions, not a lot of diving, a lot of Keith. Physio. Yeah, but I'm 55. I need all the help I can get. How are you feeling right now? I, I have loved every minute of this. It's been one of the best occasions of my life. I just don't want to let anyone down because the diving tonight has been brilliant. It has been really good. <laughs> Unless you saw Martin. Tonight, Toya will be performing the inward dive with Tuck from five metres. Let's take a look at Tom. Jump up and backwards away from the board to form the perfect tuck. Pull the body into a tight ball and rotate forwards. Straighten out vertical for the perfect entry. Here she is, it's Toya Wilcox! called Sheep Farming in Barnet. Well, now she can record free falling in Luton. Relax the body as she enters the water, but this, this is pretty good. Toya getting in, legs a little bit bent. Did she get the stage fright or has she rocked our judges? Let's see. Was it all right, she mouthed? I've got no idea. It all happens in half a second. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic. But oh, what thank you. do the judges think? It's oh. a mystery. No, it's not. We're going to ask them now. Joe. Toya, it was all right. It was more than all right. It was brilliant. <clears throat> You're a bundle of energy. I don't know how you do it, but can I have some of what you got? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Toya, miss feisty or what? You might be diddy, but you certainly punch above your weight on a diving board. Uh, the performance of that was great. Yes, you were a little bit low down. You need to go through and you need to go higher. But really good effort. Thank you. Well done, Liam. <laughs> You're a pocket rocket. Where do you get all your energy? Where do you get all your spring? What a dive. Inward dive tuck, five metre. The only thing wrong, slight bend of your legs as you went in. I know. What, have, what else have you got? Oh, amazing, well done. And Thank you. Here. You appear to have no fear. That is a really high dive. 
I love it. I just love, I love diving. It's become a new passion. I don't know if I can keep it up, you know, you know but I'm going to try. Let's see. The first way to get that continued career for you is to see those scores and see if you're going to go anywhere near the top of the leaderboard. Andy? Because it was so good, even though it was only on the five-metre board, I'm going to give it an eight. <gasps> I'm going to go up slightly and give you 8.5. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Let's see what Leo gets. Well, I'm not to easily say. impressed, as we know, but 7.5 from me. Oh, yeah. 24 <laughs> out of 30. And that puts you in joint second place on the leaderboard. Wow. Touchdown, but do you think her dive is worthy of a place in the semi-finals? If you want to see her back on the boards, you've got to vote for her using the numbers on the screen when the lines open shortly. It's Toya Wilcox, everyone! <laughs> it is indeed. No, Tom, Toya's energy is really infectious. She's been great for this, this group of divers. I mean, when you put a person in a group of, like, snowbuses like she's been in and learning to dive... You don't have to duck down, Toya, to come into shot. <laughs> she, she's, she's been amazing. I mean, she's always running around and you've been a great student, you've wanted to learn, you've... Like, put everything into it. You are that was a, great a great teacher. Dive. You're Thank a you fantastic teacher. Has it been great spending some time with Tom in the, uh, in the pool? Went you know, dive? he accepts everyone, every shape and size, every age. That is a perfect, perfect person to learn with. Aww. It's been great. Well, I'll leave you two to keep it going. Thank you. What a brilliant group of celebrities we've had tonight. And they've all dived. So let's see the final judges' leaderboard. Keith is at the top and Martin is at the bottom with the lowest judges' scores. Remember, it's not all down to them, though. Their scores will be combined with your votes. So do you agree? If you don't, you've got to vote for who you thought dived the best. And you can change everything, because the vote lines are now open! Yes, they are indeed to vote for your favourite celebrity diver. Get calling as the lines are only open for about 14 minutes. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35 pence. Other landlines may vary. Please don't try to vote if you're watching Plus One or On Demand. If you're voting from your landline, call the long number. If you're calling from your UK mobile, call the short number. So if you want to see your favourite in the semi-finals, then make sure you vote as only one celebrity can go straight through. So here's a reminder of all our divers and the numbers that you need to call. To vote for Keith Duffy, phone 09020505821 from a landline or 6505821 from your mobile. For Anna Williamson, call 09020505822 from a landline or 6505822 from your mobile. For Paul Ross, dial 09020505823 from a landline or 6505823 from your mobile. For Martin Afire, dial 09020505824 from a landline or 6505824 from your mobile. And to vote for Toya Wilcox, phone 09020505825 from a landline or 6505825 from your mobile. Very funny evening. Remember, if you want to see your favourite diver in the semi-finals, they need your support. After the break, we've got a spectacular performance of diving and dance from the water babes and boys at the Splash Dive Crew. We'll see you shortly. <laughs>
all that turns celebrities' lives upside down and then aims them at a swimming pool. Remember, if you want to see your favourite in the semi-finals, you need to vote, and the lines will be closing soon. Hang on a minute. It's only Davina McCall, everyone! <laughs> Front row seats, Davina. Oh, front row seats. The house. Best seats to see Tom Daly but, from. Uh, all right, apart from Tom Daly, what do you think of the standard of the rest of oh, the divers? Yes. What, there were other divers? Yeah. No, yes. no, I'm joking. I'm sorry, everyone, they're amazing. Um, <laughs> do you know, I loved Martin for just doing it. I, the courage that that takes. <laughs> and I particularly love what Joe said. Just because he's a rugby player doesn't mean he doesn't... He exactly. can't be front of heights. Um, I thought Keith was awesome. Uh, and even, you know, seven, point five, seven metres um, high didn't matter because his technique, I thought, was really, really good. And I love Toya's oomph. Oh, big time. A lot of people oh, like Toya's oomph. oomph. Yeah, definitely. Divina McCall, everyone. Yeah. So what you've seen tonight is the culmination of weeks of training. And trust us, it's not been easy. Diving is a physically demanding sport. It pushes your body to its physical limits. We all think of water as a soft landing, but when you hit it wrong, it really does hurt. Which is why you have to be practiced and technically perfect on dry land first. This is the dry dive. And here's where it all begins. 60% of our training is done in here. I feel like I'm in quicksand. Forget I beat her. This is a real phone party. If you mess up, at least you're guaranteed a soft landing. I've lost a sock. This is great because it's actually a real confidence builder. Because you feel safe and secure. Just do it again and again and again without keep getting wet and keep pulling yourself out of the pool. I don't think I'd be doing that in the water though. Oh, no. Better, faster. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Sorry. So you pick your dive, use the dry land to perfect your skills. Forward somersault in the tap position. Forward somersault pike. Back somersault straight. Forward twister. Yes. The harder it is, the higher your score. But there is more of a chance that you can mess it up. You need practice, practice, practice. This is a workout. And when you finally nail it, you can't beat it. In my mind, I'm getting top scores. <laughs> oh, that looks like so much fun, that training. I am in what I like to call relief corner. <laughs> uh, Keith, you challenged technically, you really pushed it, and the judges were technically very impressed. Are you? Are you happy? Yeah, no, I'm absolutely delighted. I mean, I didn't want to play it safe. I wanted to put myself out of my comfort zone. You know, whoever said the saying, you can't teach old dog new tricks, they were wrong because uh, I didn't think from starting off the first couple of training sessions that I'd ever get to do what I did this evening. So I'm delighted. And all the guys, I've seen them all start, you know, and, and you can see we were rubbish when we started. And 20 hours training later, you know, everybody is conquering goals. I mean, Martin's uh, after getting up there on the five meter board, he's terrified of heights and he came off it. your shamrocks as well. Girl power to oh, my yeah. left. I tell you what, that was amazing. First week, 10 meter board, look at you. Well, do you know what? I just thought, give it a go, why not? I've had to, you know, conquer, you know, my own. I know everyone has fears, heights, water, air vents, you name it. I'm not a great swimmer. That's um, twice you've mentioned air vents. We're going to chat about that Yeah, I know, it's, yeah, yeah. it's a real thing of mine. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Paul, uh, no, no, no fears exactly. And you look quite thin, that's quite jolly, quite happy, quite I think I do choke yourself. a bit though. I wished I'd gone up to seven. I've loved it, but I wish I'd even done the just the forward lunge in from 7.5. But you know, maybe I'll get another go. You might get the chance, Martin. We haven't got time really to go into no. the uh, yeah. Need counselling nothing no. after this. But can we just once more? Because well, I tell you, if I get through, I am prepared to go lower. <laughs> I tell you, I will go lower. I need to hear your. your How low voice. can you go? I need to hear your war cry one more time. <laughs> That's what I thought it was, but I couldn't quite tell. <laughs> Toya, your energy is what everybody seems to be so impressed with. I, I just loved it. Apparently, my head was very close it to the board. It was. You could see there. We all gasped. Well, I, I wasn't aware of it, and I didn't feel the board, so I felt no sense of danger at all. OK, well, we all loved it. I know you've all got to get ready now to go off and hear uh, what the results are, and we're going to do that very shortly. It's your final chance to pick up the phone as the phone lines will be closing in just under three minutes. But before they do, here's a mermaid inspired extravaganza featuring our very own Tom Daly and the Splash Dive Crew! <laughs> Oh, 
and a chance to win a place in the semi-finals. The lines are now closed. So please do not call. After the break, we reveal which celebrity ruled the pool and is straight through to the semi-finals. And which two will be diving again in the splash-off. Who will be going through? You'll find out soon. See you after the break.
last the show where there is a dry eye in the house. Everyone's sought. All five of our second heat celebrities have died. But before we reveal the results, let's hear what our judges thought about tonight's lot. Leon, who do you think is safe tonight? Wow, it's a really tight leaderboard, isn't it? I don't think there's any, any front runners. I'm fascinated to see how the public voted. Keith, for me, was, uh, was just a little nose in front. All right, Joe, who impressed you with their bravery and bravado? Uh, well, I have to say Toya, because here we have a woman who's in her 50s who's had a hip replacement. I'm only 35 and I've not had a hip replacement. <laughs> and I couldn't do that. Andy, you've got the 10-metre board in operation tonight. You've got technical difficulty, but it's about more than that in Splash, isn't it? There are so many other factors. Competing is so different to training. You know, the arena is silent. Every eye in the house is watching you. You've got to deal with that pressure and at the same time focus on just the dive that you're trying to do. You've got one chance, less than two seconds. It's really not easy. OK, thank you very much, judges. There is only one thing for it. I can tell you that the results are now in. We've combined the judges' scores with your votes and the celebrity with the highest score will be going straight through to the semi-finals. The celebrities in second and third place will dive again in the splash-off. The last two divers will lead the competition tonight. I can reveal the celebrity with the highest score and going straight through to the semi-finals is... It's Keith Duffy! Congratulations to Lucky Four Leaf Clover Cats. Keith Duffy there. Next, the first to leave the competition and go home. I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye to... Martin of Fire, you're going home! Oh. <laughs> I put him out of his misery. Cannonball! <laughs> so, we are left with Anna Williamson, Paul Ross and Toya Wilcox. Two of you are in the splash-off and the other is going home. I can reveal the celebrity leaving the competition is... and Tor Wilcox are in the splash off. They'll repeat their dives from earlier. Just the so please make your way to your boards. Meanwhile, I, I, I glanced at them, I'm sorry. That's uh, all right, that's what they're for. <laughs> that's what they're there for. <laughs> you must be well chuffed, Keith. Yeah, well, the dive is average, but I think the budgie smugglers got me through. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do in the semi-finals? I don't know yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work hard. I'm going to work hard with Tom and, and, and just see what he thinks I can, I can do. And, and hopefully, we'll. Get some sparks off the 10 metre ball. Well, you did say that. You can't go back on your word, young no, man. No, no. I'll stick to my word, Werner. Good lad. Good lad. And Good Tom, lad. some final words of advice to Anna and Toya. Well, there. Toya just needs to make sure she gets her hips up, big jump away from the board. And Anna just needs to make sure that she stretches a little bit further out so she doesn't roll onto her back. OK. And meanwhile, you've got to go away, practice, perfect that 10 metre dive for the semi finals. Practice, practice. Yeah. and work out something equally exciting in the trunk department. I'll do my very best. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anna and Toya are in the splash-off. They'll be going head-to-head -head in a bid to join Keith here in the semi-finals. They will repeat their dives from earlier tonight, and it's up to the judges to decide who they want to keep in the competition. Diving first tonight in the splash-off is Anna Williamson. Saturday nights wouldn't be complete without the splash off. Anna's took on the 10 metre board at the first opportunity, but will it get her to the semi finals? And here, I Place in the semi finals. Show your support for Toya Wilcox!
Jack gets real close to the board with this dive every time, but will the dive get her close to the semi-final? Only the judges can decide. Well done. Oh, well done. Yeah. So, well done, Thanks. ladies. <laughs> judges. You've seen Anna, you've seen Toya dive again. Great efforts. I'm now going to ask you which celebrity you want to see in the semi-finals. Leon, we'll come to you first. Who do you want to go through to the semi-final? The dive I want to go through to the semi-final is Anna. Thank you. Anna, Anna off the 10 metre board tonight. Toya with her technical dive. One vote for Anna. Joe. Oh, it's impossibly <clears throat> hard, but the diver I want to go through tonight is Toya. Toya! Toya with one vote, Anna with one vote. Well, Andy, you know what that means. The Thank, thanks very much, guys. It comes down <laughs> to you. How are you going to divide them? Again. I'm going to have to do it based on the splash off. But first of all, two girls in the splash off. Yes. Give it up for them, that's pretty impressive. Good point, well done. Toya, a great effort again, but you were a little bit shorter vertical. Anna, it was better than the first round. And therefore, with the 10-metre board as well, I've got to put through Anna. You, Toya, you, you, you really threw yourself quite literally I, into Splash. I loved it. I've had the time of my life and I don't have to go higher. <laughs> <laughs> and Anna is the best. Oh. She deserves it. It's fantastic. Do you know what? Without being soppy, Toya and I, we've just been the only, obviously, the only two girls in our heat and we've really had a great time, haven't we? And I'm, I'm really gutted it. that you're not going to be with me now in you training. You are the best, babe. Don't no. let this team Anna, down. you've already Come been on. on 10 board. What can you do from there now? Um, I've got a few little tricks up my sleeve. I just wanted to get the heights sort of under my belt. So, yeah, thanks for putting me through and I'll make sure I really pull something decent out, maybe some somersaults, um, some tucks, something backward maybe, we'll see. We'll and see. conquer that fear of air vents. Get the air vents out of yeah. my head! Whatever I know. that's all about. It's weird, I know. <laughs> I am a bit weird. I think your confidence tonight has been incredible. Both Thank of you. you have been fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Toya and Anna! Thank yeah, you. Good, good point made by Andy. Two girls in the splash off. Two girls, yeah. yes. Yeah, so, that is it. Keith Duffy and Anna Williamson are through to the semi-finals in a few weeks' time. I can't wait till next Saturday, 7 o'clock on ITV for our third live week where five new celebrities are going to take to the board. Are they good? Yeah, they're great. You we'll wait. see you then for the next pool party we call Splash! Yeah. It's going to take a lot of balls. I'm so scared of your nose. Oh. I hate the water. I must have a fear of heights. If you don't take off at exactly the right angle. You know it's really going to hurt. Your taste. Wow, how is this natural? Terrifying.